One of the roles of information systems in organizations is to provide support for improved decision making. What we'll see here is the result of a study from The Economist of uh, uh, almost 200 senior business leaders and their desires for improving decision making. They were asked, as a result of this study, what are the five ingredients for good decision making? The most important ingredient was high quality data. You can't make a good decision without good data. Next was good technology and training. Decision making today in most organizations is supported uh, hand in hand with good technology, but the technology without training is almost routine. The third is sound judgment. Sound judgment can be supported by IT by providing context for the data and uh, a ways to evaluate whether the data makes sense. Fourth item is trust. Trust that the data is right, trust that the processes are right, and trust that the people who are providing input to the decision are making decisions in the best interest of the company. Finally, flexibility. Decisions that are made in a flexible environment, decisions that themselves are flexible, are valued very highly among senior executives. These same executives listed the six most worrisome sources of data. In other words, if they've got bad data, where did it come from? The most worrisome place was regional offices, the offices that are away from the headquarters. This is followed by the Human Resources Department itself. Next comes country head offices. These are uh, offices located in other countries. Data coming from them is uh, sometimes suspect. Fourth would be R&D. Fifth, marketing itself. And the last is IT. That's a problem for information technologists and the CIO, how to make sure that the data coming from IT is sound. The four least worrisome sources of data include the finance department, that's the least worrisome, which makes sense because we have such uh, uh, regulations about certain kinds of financial data. When it says finance, it probably means mar uh, accounting. Next comes the lines of business themselves, the business units, followed by sales. Note the difference between sales and marketing. And finally, the production area. So these are the four least worrisome areas. So how can IT better support the decision making of senior executives in our companies? Number one was accelerating the speed of information delivery. Senior executives hate being surprised and having the information flow up the organization as quickly as possible is crucial. Next, they're frustrated by the user interfaces to the systems that exist and want more flexible user-friendly interfaces. They want processes that ensure data accuracy, particularly in the Sarbanes-Oxley era where signing off on financial statements uh, have big implications. They want accuracy. Finally, improved communication between decision makers. We want to be able to exchange information and ideas quickly and uh, uh, just in time. IT plays a big role in corporate decision making and this study supported the notion that senior executives continue to be frustrated by the quality of data uh, that comes out of IT and that there are definite steps that need to be taken to uh, improve the quality and access.